into your sturdy chair and just relax into it. Let your sit bones sink into the support of that chair. Relaxing your shoulders, soften your neck, loosen your jaw. Just relax for a moment, maybe even close your eyes. Taking that inward journey inside. So let's see how we feel inside. Scanning the body from head to toe, just breathing and realizing everything going on in your body. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Noticing how you feel inside. Notice if there's any place in the body that might hold tension or maybe a little more, more uncomfortable in the body. Find that place. It might need a little more nurturing today. Honor everything that you're feeling. Observing your breath. Let your breath become a little longer and slower. So another deep, slow breath in. And let it out. Let's do it like that one more time. Inhaling slowly through your nose. Deep breath. And this time as you exhale, let your hands and arms relax down to your sides. Let's begin to move with that breath. So this time as you inhale, the arms move out to the sides. And then bring them up just as high as you can come up comfortably. So if up here is too high for you, maybe down here feels a little better, that's okay. Just stretch the arms up as high as they'll go. And as you exhale, slowly float the arms all the way down. This is just telling the body it's time to get going. A little circulation in the upper body. One more time. Inhale, raising the arms out and up. And exhale the arms out. And then just let them float down. Now one more time. And this time we're going to raise the chin up too. So as you inhale, the arms move out and up. And this time maybe lift your chin, looking up toward the ceiling. So giving the neck a little stretch in the front. As you exhale, the arms come all the way back down. Now look down. Bring your chin down toward your chest. One more time. Inhale, raising the arms and the chin all the way up. Looking up at those fingertips or up toward the ceiling. Exhale and slowly bring your arms out and down. Let your chin come down toward the chest. And then keeping your chin down, take a deep breath in. Exhale, relax. So now the hands are on your lap. Let's take one more deep breath in with the head down. Inhale. As you exhale, see if you can slide the chin a little further down the chest. So you're not collapsing your body, just the head is coming down, feeling the front of the neck or the back of the neck stretching. When you're ready to breathe in, bring your head back up to center where your nose is looking forward. And now as you exhale, turn your head and look to the left. So we're not moving the body, just the head. Inhale the head back to center. Exhale, look to the right. So there are 26 muscles in the neck. We're just kind of warming all those, those muscles up. Inhale forward. Exhale, look to the left again. Inhale forward. And exhale, look to the right. Inhale the head back to center. And this time as you exhale, gently let your left ear flow down toward the left shoulder. Just float it down. Don't force it. Never force the head down. But see if you can relax that right shoulder down a little bit and feel the stretch along the right side of the neck. Inhale, slowly bring the head up to center. Exhale, right ear floating down toward that right shoulder gently. Relax the left shoulder. Feel that little stretch left side of the neck. Inhale, slowly bring the head all the way back up to center. Exhale again down to the left. So just let that ear flow down. Now, if you'd like, you can lower that right arm down. Just let it hang. So you're getting more of a stretch for the right side of the neck with the arm hanging. And then maybe circle that arm, little tiny circles. Keep them small. And if your head feels too heavy and the right side of the neck is stretching a little too long, just bring your head back up to center. If you can keep going, then make circles around with that arm in the opposite direction. And the arm is dangling. So the shoulder isn't up as you're circling, it's down. You can stop the circling at any time you're ready. Just bring that head all the way back up to center slowly. Bring your right hand to your lap. 
And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So inhale, tall first. Exhale, let that right ear flow down toward the right shoulder. And then relax that left arm down. Good, so you can feel the stretch in the left side of the neck. Remember, if it's too long of a stretch, you can always bring the head up. Or you can circle that arm moving around those little muscles in the left side of the neck very subtly. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. We're oxygenating the muscles that we're using as we breathe. You can let that arm circle the other way when you're ready. A couple times around, a few times around. And stop whenever you'd like to dangle that left arm down again. Slowly bring the head all the way back up to center. Bring the left hand to your lap and then just relax the shoulders. Let's hang the arms down again. This time, turn your palms out. and Notice how much more room you have at the top of the chest. Now let's lift those arms up. So as you inhale, the arms raise out and up. Good. And as you exhale, point the palms away from you and bring the arms all the way down, just like you're pushing the air down. So now we're going to do a little side bend. So take the left hand to your lap. Take the right arm out. Just rotate that right palm out. Inhale and lift it up. And now as you exhale, gently bend down to the left. And just feel that stretch along the right side body. Inhale, slowly bringing the right arm straight back up. Exhale it out to the right. And then just let it float all the way back down. And now let's do the same thing with the other side. So we're bringing that right hand to the left. Dangle the left arm down. Turn your left palm outward. Inhale and begin to lift that left arm all the way up. And as you exhale, gently bend down to the right this time. Keep the left hip down so you can really feel the stretch along the left side body. Inhale when you're ready. The left arm comes up. The body is nice and tall. Keep the body tall. And as you exhale, just lower that left arm all the way back down. And then once it's there, bring the left hand to your lap. Relax both shoulders. Let's take the shoulders back. So again, we're just kind of stretching those muscles in the top of the chest and the shoulders. Now take the shoulders up and forward and down. Let's just keep circling. So we're using the shoulders, but we're also working the chest and the upper back a little bit. So you might feel it in those areas. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Anytime you need to stop, it's okay. Just sit and breathe and we'll roll for you. And then we're going to go the other way. So when you're ready, we're just reversing. So the shoulders are moving forward and up, back and down. And you can make these circles a little bigger if you'd like by swimming the arms. So we're not straightening the arms as we're swimming. There's a little bend to the elbows. You can leave the hands on your lap if you want little circles. That's okay. And then just bring the hands down to your lap. If they're not already there, relax your shoulders. Good job. Take a deep, full breath in and down. Let's bring the hands together in front of the heart. As you inhale, begin to lift your fingertips all the way up. So we're going to do a little cleansing breath here. So once the fingertips are up, inhale a little bit further up. As you exhale, sigh through an open mouth. Release your arms out and down. And that little sigh just helps release tension from the shoulders. So let's take the arms forward now. Just like your Frankenstein, you're going to reach forward. So this little pull is actually kind of stretching the upper back, also stretching the arm muscles. So begin to wiggle your fingers and don't forget your thumb. So you're working your hand and your fingers as well. Lean forward if you can. So now we're working right down into the back now. You should feel it in your spine, your arms, your fingers. Let's wiggle the fingers way up toward the ceiling, nice and tall, stretch up. Wiggle, and then bring your fingers out to the sides. Keep wiggling if you can. Good, so just notice the back is working, the arms are working, fingers and hands are working. Let's wiggle forward all the way. Good, and then you can stop the wiggling once the arms are forward. Take your time. Bring your shoulders down. Just relax those shoulders and begin to pulse the arms, little tiny pulses up and down. Good job. So keep stretching the arms forward. We're working the upper back as well. And then pulse over to the right very slowly. So you might feel this in your middle back. It's not a deep twist. It's just a little turn. Left side is working. You might feel it in the left shoulder, left arm. 
Now pulse forward, again, these are tiny little pulses. Don't go too far up and down. Little pulses over to the left now. Good, now you should feel it in your right side in the middle of your back. Now let's pulse forward one more time, all the way, and then just bring that pulse all the way down to the knees. Once the hands land on the knees, let your shoulders relax, take another deep breath in and out. And now we're gonna do a seated cat cow. So we're gonna provide a little flexibility to the back. So you wanna move your back away from the back of the chair, just so you have a little room to round the back. So we're gonna arch and round. So the hands are gonna stay right on the lap, shoulders are down, inhale the chest forward and up. So there's that little arch in the upper back, maybe the middle back. If you want more of an arch, lift your chin up a little bit. Now we're gonna round, so as you exhale, the back rounds too, or even toward the back of the chair. The head goes down, the shoulders move forward. So big roundness to the back. Exhale. Inhale, come up nice and tall. Exhale, relax your shoulders down. Inhale, the chest forward and up, and look up if that's okay with your neck. So you're getting a bigger arch here. Exhale, round the back. Draw the shoulders forward, draw the head down. As you exhale, draw the belly button in toward the spine. One more time. Inhale, slowly come up tall. Exhale, the shoulders down. Inhale, the chest forward and up. Maybe lift the chin, big arch in the back. Round the back now, like a cat stretching. Blow the air out toward your lap. The head is down, the shoulders are forward. And now let's go into a slide here. And it kind of looks like a wave. So the back is round right now. Inhale and slowly slide forward. So the top of your head is coming forward. Now move your shoulders down from the ears. So now you're lengthening the spine a little bit. Look forward with your face and then slowly come up. And notice that arch is a little down in your back now, a little further down the back. And then come up nice and tall. We're going to do it one more time. So we're going to round the back toward or even to the back of the chair. Head is down. Inhale and slide forward. Spine is long. Spine becomes longer when the shoulders move down from the ears. Look forward with your face, and as you inhale, slowly come all the way up. And then once you're up, just relax. Take another deep, full breath in and out. All right, so let's just hang that right arm down. So this is going to work the shoulder and the neck a little bit. We're just going to hold that right arm down. Make sure it's down. So the shoulder's not up, it's relaxed. Begin to just swing that arm back and forth. Good, so if you have uh, arms on your chair, then hold the arm outside, uh, hold your arm outside of the arm of that chair. Good, so we're just kind of loosening up the shoulder a little bit, and we're gonna over-exaggerate as we roll. So this time, once the arm moves back, lean forward, get ready to throw that ball forward. So swing your bowling ball forward and come all the way up, nice and tall. Let's do it again. So lean forward, drop your arm down, and then bring it back. Now swing it forward, lift up nice and tall, lift, lift, lift. And then one more time. Come forward, drop your arm down, and then it goes back. Get ready to just swing it forward. Swing the ball forward. Let go of it. It's too heavy to come all the way up. Lift your arm up, and then just relax your hand in your lap. Now let's swing the left arm. So we're just going to dangle it first, make sure that left shoulder's relaxed, and then just swing back and forth. Good job. All right, take deep breathing. Don't hold your breath. And you can bowl like this if you'd like. If you want to go a little bit deeper, then let that left arm come back, lean forward. Now get ready to throw that ball. Swing it forward right down the middle of the alley. We knock down all those pins so the arm comes up. You're up nice and tall. And then come forward again, drop the arm down and swing it back and swing it forward and come all the way up nice and tall. Now we're going to do that one more time if that feels okay for you. So lean forward, bring the ball down, and then it goes back. Swing it forward, bring it all the way up. Good. Hold it. And then relax your hand in your lap. You're pretty good bowlers. We've made a few strikes. Take a deep, full breath in and out. So now we're going to do a little thing called a push and a shove. So this is going to work the shoulders and the chest and the back and even the neck. So let's make a little fist with the right hand. 
And then we're going to bring that hand in front of the heart. So the right elbow is up parallel to the floor. Inhaling tall. Now here comes that shove part. So as you exhale, gently shove the right elbow back. So notice the front of the right shoulder is opening. The right side of the chest is stretching. Lay your left ear down toward your left shoulder and really feel that stretch. As you inhale, bring it all back to center so your head comes up. The hand comes right back in front of your heart. Now comes the push part. So let's open the right hand, face it forward, palm is forward. Take the right arm all the way out to the right and gently press the whole arm back. Lay your left ear down again toward your left shoulder. Just feel that opening along the right side. Slowly come back to center with that right hand in front of the heart, the head is up. And then just lay the right hand in your back. And notice the difference in each side of the chest. So let's make that a little bit more even. So we're gonna take the left hand, make a fist, comes in front of the heart, left elbow is up. Inhale tall. Exhale, imagine you're shoving something back with that left elbow. Do it nice and easy, slow and gentle. Lay your right ear down toward the right shoulder. Remember never to force your ear down. It's just floating down. Feel that stretch. Inhale, bring it all back to center. Left hand in front of your heart, the head is up. And then open your left hand. Face the palm forward. Bring your left arm all the way out to the left. And then gently bring it back. So you're pushing back gently. Lay your right ear down toward the right shoulder. Just feel that stretch left side, opening up the left shoulder, stretching the left side of the neck and the chest. Inhale and bring it all back to center. Left hand in front of the heart, the head is up. And then just lay that left hand down in your lap. Take another deep, full breath in and out. Good job. Now let's take another full deep breath in and out, but we're going to breathe in through the nose slowly. And when we breathe out, let's purse our lips and gently blow out like you're flickering a candle. And notice the rib cage. So inhale slowly through your nose. Purse your lips and gently blow out. Notice the rib cage collapse. Good. So when your rib, your rib cage collapses and it becomes smaller, then your body relaxes. So let's do it one more time. But this time, let's bring our hands to our rib cage with the, excuse me, with the pinky finger at the lowest part of the ribs. And the shoulders are relaxed. Inhale tall. Feel that expansion of the rib cage as you breathe into the ribs. As you exhale, gently blow out. Notice the rib cage sinking down, relaxing. And then bring your hands down. Drop our arms down now. Let's turn our palms out again. And as you inhale, bring the arms all the way back up. This time, bend your elbows. Bring your hands together. As you exhale, slide your hands down to your heart. Wonderful. So we're going to work on the hands and the arms a little bit more. But let's go into airplane pose and cactus. So cactus is really good for the posture. We bring our arms out to the sides with bent elbows, spread your fingers out wide. As you inhale, move the arms back. And notice your chest expanding. As you exhale, bring the arms forward. Now your back is stretching. And let's do it again. Inhale with the arms out and back. Exhale, bring the arms back to center. I want to explain just one more thing here. So when you're doing cactus, why we do cactus, and I'm going to sit over here so you'll see what's going on. So as we age, our shoulders tend to do this, and our head tends to do this, and then the upper back tends to do that. And then we get stuck like that, and it's so much easier to sit like this than this. It almost hurts to sit like this. Sometimes our back and our chest even freezes like this, so you can't sit up nice and tall. So, and what that does is it, it, it lengthens the back muscles and it shortens the chest muscles, and that can be permanent. So, cactus actually counteracts that. So, when we're doing this, the elbows are up. So, if they're down like this, it's still going to work. But if they're up, you're working your upper back a little bit more. So, as you inhale, we're elongating those chest muscles and we're shortening the back muscles. As you exhale, now we're elongating those back muscles, and that's okay because we're giving them a little stretch. Let's come forward, so just a little bow. 
Inhale, come back up nice and tall. Exhale, just rest. Inhale, bring the arms back out to the sides and then all the way back, puff your chest out. Exhale, bring your arms toward each other. Maybe the hands can touch and then slide your hands down to your heart. And then bring your arms back into cactus. So we're gonna do a little turn here. So try to keep the elbows up. If you can't, then they can be down here if that's better for you. But if you can bring them up, that's a little better for the back. Inhale. As you exhale, gently turn to the left. Little turn, not too deep. Again, we're working the middle back. And then come back to center. Good, and then turn the other way. And come back to center. Now we're really gonna work the back, so this is important. If you can keep those uh, elbows up, then you're gonna work the back a little more. So we're gonna curl down from the middle back, not the lower back. It takes a little practice. Try to keep those elbows up and you're gonna feel it working those back muscles, especially the upper back. Inhale, slowly come back up. Go ahead and then just bring your hands together in front of your heart. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, the fingertips all the way up toward the ceiling. As you exhale, sigh through an open mouth, release your arms all the way back down. Just like we did in the beginning, a little tension release from the shoulders, but we're gonna go into airplane pose now. So we're gonna take those left fingers down, just slide down to the left. When you're ready, raise your right arm up. You can look up toward those right fingertips or just look forward if you'd like. Inhale and begin to lengthen through the arm. So you're reaching up with the right arm, you're reaching down with the left arm. Then bring the arms out to the sides. Now just drop that right arm down. Reach it down a little bit further to slide it down. Reach up with the left arm. Inhale and begin to stretch through your arms. Exhale, bring the arms out to the sides. And then face your palms toward the wall in front of you. Bend your elbows just a little bit. Relax your shoulders and turn your palms up. So we're gonna work right into that shoulder capsule now. So if you turn your palms forward, down and back, you're working into the shoulder capsule. So if you hear a little clipping and it doesn't hurt, it's okay. So just rotating the palms upward, keep that little bend to the elbows, and then forward, down and back, rotating the arms. Good, and then we're gonna lean forward a little bit, drop the arms down just about halfway, and then bring those palms up behind you. But you're gonna feel this in your arms, especially those right here, right? down in here, I call them bat wings. So all the way up. Now keep your upper arms where they are, but bend your elbows, but so the fingers are down. And then you're gonna push those palms back and bring the fingers down. If it feels okay, push back again. Triceps, that's what we're working. And then down. And one more time, push back. Now hold your arms right here and begin to pulse upward. So you're working your upper back, your shoulders, your chest, your arms and then bring them up to the highest point and then let them float down, come up nice and tall, bring your arms forward and up. Good, and hold them up, inhale. Exhale, bring them all the way down. Don't collapse your body, just your arms are coming down. And then shake it out, a little shake here. So now we're working on um, the circulation a little bit, getting that blood flowing just by shaking the hands. So maybe shake the hands forward and then over to the right, and over to the left, and then out to each side, get that circulation going. Then bring your hands way up high like you're saying hallelujah, and then forward, and then now rest your hands in your lap and notice what you feel. You might feel your fingertips tingling, you might feel it in your upper body, inhale and exhale. So we're coming down into the lower body now. Let's do some belly work out here. So we're gonna bring ourselves to the edge of our chair because you want a little bit of room between you and the chair. And then you want your feet under your knees. Now we're gonna row the boat. So when we row back, and if this hurts your lower back, then just come up nice and tall. Or you can lift your chest up to take the pressure off your lower back. So just be mindful about that. We're gonna row, come forward with your hands and grab your oars and then pull your elbows back. Now you're leaning back if this is okay with your back. If it's not okay with your back, then lift your chest up or just come forward a little bit. But you can feel those muscles in the belly engage as you're leaning back. So let's do it nine more times. We're gonna come forward, 
and roll back. That's when those muscles start to engage in the belly. Again, forward and back. And if you can keep going, keep going. Work at your own pace a couple more times, back and forth, feeling those muscles in the belly begin to work. Good. Easy and gentle. Remember, be mindful of how it feels for your back. And then when you're ready to finish up with this one, let's reach forward one more time. Pull those elbows back. Now the feet can stay on the floor or you can pick the feet up if you'd like. A little more challenging. If your feet are up, you might want to wiggle your legs, your lower legs. Keep your neck soft. Don't hyperextend your shoulders all the way up. Good. And then stop the motion and then pick up those toes a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale and relax. So you need to smile with that one. That's a little hard. We're going to do a little bit more for the belly, so we're going to work those obliques now. So that worked the um, above and below the navel. So this one's going to work the side belly muscles. So let's just bring that right hand to the shoulder with the elbow out. And we're also going to work those uh, quadriceps here on the left leg. So you might also feel it in your hip. If you can, a little more challenging, pick up that left knee. We're not going to do a crunch. We're going to take that right elbow over to the left. So you're just turning. You're going to feel it in your side belly muscles. Try to keep that leg up if you can. If you can't, then lower it down. Take the right elbow back out to the right, and then across over to the left again. Feel that. And one more time, take it out to the right, and then the right elbow comes over to the left. Now this time, if you'd like, you can do a little crunch, or you're going to take the elbow toward the knee, the knee toward the elbow, crunch it down, come back up. And then take that right elbow out to the right and lay the left foot down and relax the right elbow down. So feel it in your leg as well as your belly. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're just going to take that left hand to the left shoulder. Right knee goes up and the left elbow goes out. We're just going to take the left elbow across to the right. So don't crunch yet. And then back to the left. And then over to the right. And back to the left. Now crunch if you'd like, or just bring that left elbow back to the right. Crunch now when you're ready, if you're ready. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do if it causes pain. And then come back up. Take the left elbow out to the left, and then just bring that right foot down and relax. And take another deep, full breath in and out. And then let's work the legs a little bit. So working the legs, especially these quadricep muscles right here at, at the top of the thighs and all the way down to the knees, those are big muscles. Those help get you up out of a chair or from a seat, seated position. So those are important to work, and that's what we're going to do now. So you can slide all the way back in your chair. Your back can even lay at the back of the chair. For more of a challenge, keep the back away from the chair. So we're just going to start by taking both feet forward. If you're only using one foot, that's okay, but the feet go forward, one or two, and then we're going to point the toes forward. And feel the stretch at the top of your feet. Your legs are working, the area around your knees, those muscles are engaging. Take the toes back. Oh, and you're going to feel it in the back of the leg. So we're just going to start to point and flex. Work at your own pace, pointing and flexing. Good job. So we're working the toes, the ankles, the calves, the heels. We're also working those muscles that surround the knees. But guess what else we're working? We're working the heart, even though you can't feel it. Because the calves act like a second heart, they pump the blood back up to the heart, and we're giving them a little boost by pointing and flexing, getting those calves working. So when you feel ready to stop, just bring the toes back toward yourself and hold them there. Hold. Inhale. And as you exhale, you can lower your feet all the way back down to the floor. And then let's oil up those uh, ankles a little bit. So let's take the right foot forward and roll the ankle. Good. Now we can take the right arm forward, close into a soft little fist with your thumbs on the outside, and roll your wrist as well. And then you can roll the other way anytime you're ready. If you hear click, clacks, clicks, and pops, it's okay as long as it doesn't hurt. Relax everything down now. We're going to go to the other side. Take your left foot up and circle the left ankle. You might want to circle that left wrist also. We're just oiling up the joints, wrist and ankle. 
And then you can go the other way anytime you're ready. Good job. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Remember to stop if you need to at any time. When you're ready to stop, just relax that left foot down, relax the left hand down. Good, and then let's bring the arms forward. Bend the elbows like you're in cactus, but then close and put your thumbs on the outside of those knuckles. We're gonna roll both wrists real quick. Doesn't have to be too quick. Do it as slow as you'd like, but we're trying to get this one in too. It's important to keep our wrists well-oiled as well as our ankles and every other joint in the body. Go the other way when you're ready. And then you can stop the movement. Now this is for arthritis and carpal tunnel. We're just gonna open and close our hands like we're shooting lightning bolts out the fingertips. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then shake a little bit one more time. And then bring your hands down to your lap. And we're going to work on the legs again. So again, you can sit further back in your chair. Just get comfortable. Bring both feet up if you can. If you're using one leg, that's okay. But now the heels are together. Turn your toes out. So this is a leg rotation. Bring your legs all the way out. Hips are working. Turn your toes in so they're looking at each other. And then the legs come back to center. Toes out. Legs out. Toes in legs in. So if you're really aware of this, you're going to feel it in your belly as well. Anytime you have your feet or your knees up, you're working your belly. But we're also working the hips with this one. So we're rotating the legs outward and inward. And let's do it one more time. So the toes move out and then they look at each other. The legs come back together. Now we're at the hard part. So if you can, drop your arms down. Let's try some jumping jacks. Let's try five. One, two, and three, and four, and five. All the way up. Hold your arms up. This is the hard part. Bring your legs together. Slide your hands down to your heart. So now you're keeping your upper body relaxed. The lower body is working. You should feel it in your hips and your quadriceps. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your feet all the way back down. Take a deep, full breath in. Now let's work on that right leg. So you can keep your left leg completely relaxed. Raise that right knee up and then bring it down. Now let's try four more. So it goes up and down and up and down. Maybe two more. Up and down. Remember to stop if you need to. One more time if you're still going. Up and down. Now let's kick it out. So we're just going to kick the foot forward like we're kicking a ball and bring the foot back to the floor. And two, and three, and four, and five. Okay, it's going to get a little harder, but if you want to come back to that one where we kick and the foot comes back to the floor, that's okay. Otherwise, challenge yourself. Bring that knee up and kick for five without the foot on the floor. Here we go. One, feel the difference. And two, three, and four, and five. Five. Good job. Now put that foot back on the floor if it's not there. And then let's do one more. So we're going to take that right knee up and hold it this time. So the work is while you hold. A little harder to hold. Now extend the leg out and hold it. I'm counting fast in my mind. And then bend the knee again, hold it, and bring it down. Now five more faster so there's no hold. So remember to stop if you need to, though. So it's going to go up, out, Bend and down. Now four more. Up, straighten, bend and down. Three more. Up, out, bend and down and up. Out, bend and down. Last time. Up, straighten, bend and down. Bring that knee up again and roll the knee. So now we're oiling up that, that hip. Good. And then let's go the other way a couple times. And then just relax it down. Massage that area, the thigh area and the hip area. We're going to go the other way. We're going to do the same thing. So now just relax that right leg. Left knee is going to just come up for five. Here we go. One and two, three, four, five. Now kick it out. Bring the foot back to the floor this time. One, two, three, four. And five. Now you can do it that way.
me again, or you can bring that left knee up for more of a challenge and kick. And two, three, four, five. Good job. Bring that foot down. Then here comes that pull. So we're going to really work those quadriceps left side. So bring the knee up and hold it. And extend your leg out and hold. And bend it again. And bring it down. Now five times without a hold. So the left knee goes up. Extend the leg out. Bend it again. And bring it down. Four more. Up. Straighten, bend, and down, and up, out, bend, and down. Two more times, up, straighten, bend, and down. Last time, up, out, bend, and down. Phew, that's a lot of work. Let's come forward in our chair now. So we're going to turn to the left, just kind of walk to the left. But then once you're there, drop that right knee down if that feels okay. But so now the blood is flowing through that hip, that should feel pretty good. The right toes are bent, but if you'd like, you can stay right here or you can extend that right leg back. Now we're really letting that blood flow. Maybe take that right arm forward and to the left, inhale. Exhale, bring the arm down. And then you can bend that knee again if it's not already bent and we're gonna come to the center and then we're gonna walk over to the right. So once you're here, just drop that left knee down. So the left knee is facing the floor and all that blood is flowing back through that hip crease. So we're gonna take the, keep the left uh, toes bent or extend them all the way back. The toes are still bent. Either way is fine. Just getting that blood flowing. This is also a psoas muscle here and this is gonna help with your walk or your gait. So remember to always just um, kind of loosen this up or um, uh, stretch it out. Good, because if it's too tight, you're going to walk like this. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to take that left arm forward and up. If that feels okay, it's a big stretch. And then bring it all the way back down and come back to center. Good job. And walk your feet toward each other. So we're going to use these big muscles to stand up. And so I'm going to come to the side here so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm not going to lift all the way up. I'm going to just lift my bottom up. But to try to do this, to develop these muscles to help you stand up, bring your feet under your knees, come up nice and tall, the neck is relaxed, the shoulders are relaxed. Let's come out like Frankenstein. So we're going to bring our arms forward and look over our toes. And once you look over your toes, you might want to adjust those feet a little bit. Press your heels down. And you're going to find those muscles right here in the thighs and even in the bottom to help you stand. So you might want to lift your bottom up and down. Did you feel those muscles working? Let's do it again. Look over your toes, dig your heels in, lift up and down. Good job. Let's bring the arms down. And then we're going to take the arms down all the way. And we're going to use our arms momentums to help lift. So we're going to bring the arms forward and up and then stand up if you can. If you can't, get up any way you can. So come forward, bring your arms forward, come all the way up. Good job, hallelujah, if you made it. Bring the arms all the way down. Good. I'm going to keep my chair at the side, but you just stand right in back of it or maybe use a table or any other steady thing because you're going to hold on if we need to. So we're going to just shake a leg first. We're going to take that left leg out and shake the whole leg, not just the foot, the whole leg because we're going to get that blood flowing again through the leg and through the hip crease. And then come back to stand on that left foot and then take that right leg out and shake it. Good. And then come back to stand on both feet. Now let's come up on our tippy toes. So as you inhale, lift your heels up. And see if you can pull the area above your knees up. So now those muscles that surround your knees, those are working. Those are getting stronger. Calves are engaged. Let's come all the way back down to the heels. And then we're going to lift up our toes and stand on our heels. So what's going on now? The knees are still working, but we're stretching the, the ankles and the calves. And then when you lower your head down, you're going to feel that stretch go up the back of your legs a little more into your hamstrings. So the lower you get your head down, the more you're going to feel it. So just be aware of that. When you're ready to come up, take a deep breath in, slowly come all the way back up, lower your toes back down to the floor. Good job. So I'm going to stand here so you can see now what I'm doing with my right leg. So I'm going to hold on. Take your right leg out to the right. 
and it's going to go up and down, up and down. Let's try three more. Remember to stop if you need to. And two more. And last one. So let's see if we can balance in a half X today. So we're going to take that right leg out to the right. And the left arm goes forward and up and out. Looks like a half X. So you might want to hover that right hand. You might want to hold on to the chair. Balance is different every day. If you don't need the chair and you're hovering and you feel pretty good about it, then take your right arm down toward your right leg. Just like a half X, hold it. Gaze at something in front of you that's not moving. And then slowly lower down. So let's go to the other side. We're going to hold on first. Take that left leg out to the left for five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now hold your leg up if you can. Take the right arm forward and up and out to the right, just like a half X. Good. And if that feels okay, you can hold on. You can hover or tap the chair with the other hand. If you feel really balanced, gazing at something in front of you that's not moving, don't close your eyes and you can become a half X. And then come all the way back down. Good. We're going to do a tandem balance today. So you stay right where you are behind your chair. I'm just moving the chair out. I'm going to hold it with one hand, and that's okay to do. But you don't, you can hold it with both hands, too, if you need to. So we're first going to take that right foot forward and then bend the knee and hold it right here. Good. So this is a stork pose. We're not into the other pose yet. Good. And then bring it back down. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So we're going to take that left leg forward and then bend the knee. Good. So all your weight is on your right leg. And then bring it down. Now the tandem pose. And this is a balancing pose. So you want to take your right foot in front of your left heel to toe. Or you might want to step up a little bit. Or you might want to step out a little bit. But don't step out too far. Or it's not a balancing pose. So now take one hand to the heart. So it looks like a half a prayer. Or just lay your hand on your chest, either way. Good, and again, we're going to gaze at something in front of us that's not moving. Inhale. As you exhale, draw your belly button in toward your spine. So your tummy's nice and firm. That's your core, part of your core. Now maybe you can take that other hand that's on the chair and hover it. You might want to hold on because balance is different every day. If you feel you have the balance, then bring that hand to the one at the heart. Good. And if this isn't enough for you, then bring your fingertips all the way up. Good job. Again, if you're wobbling, those muscles are working. It's okay to wobble. If you feel like you're going to fall, grab onto that chair again. Bring your hands all the way back down to your heart if they were up in the air. Hold the chair, and we're going to switch sides. So the feet come back together first. You might want to kind of move the hips a little bit, wiggle that out, wiggle the tightness out. And then take that left foot in front of the right, heel to toe, or step forward or step out a little bit. So if your toes are out, that's not going to work. That's not balanced. So you want to make your toes forward. One hand to the heart, one hand holds the chair. If you feel really steady, then bring the other hand to your heart. And you're going to know. If you start to wobble too much, then bring the hands back down. But otherwise, they're at your heart. Inhale, lift your fingertips up if you don't feel too wobbly. Good. And exhale, bring your hands all the way back down to your heart. And then hold on to your chair and step your feet all the way back together. Good job. Now we're going to take the um, back back a little bit. So we're going to hold on to the chair and just step back as far as you can go. You don't have to be a big letter L, just as far as you can go comfortably. Ultimately, you want your ankles under your hips. And then you're going to lean forward. Now, if this is enough for you, that's fine. You're stretching the posterior of the body. If you want to go down a little bit more, then just lower your chest down if that feels okay. So you don't want to hyperextend your legs. The knees are soft. And just relax. And we're going to work into the right hip by taking the left knee and bending it slowly. So the deeper you bend the knee, the more you're going to feel this in your right hip. So just be aware of that. You don't have to bend it all the way down to feel it. And then straighten it back up. Bend the right knee slowly. Remember, the deeper you go, the more you're bending that knee. You don't have to do that. If you feel the stretch, it's already working. 
and then slowly come back up, straight legs, and then let's bend the knees and just relax the tailbone. Don't tuck it, just relax. So you're going to feel that little stretch in the lower back. Walk yourself back to the chair when you're ready. Good. And then once you're there, let's step that right foot back. So same uh, weight on both feet. So you don't want to be forward or you don't want to be back. You're just going to come all the way down with your head. And again, the lower you get your head, the more you're going to feel this at the back of the front leg, the forward leg. So just feel it. Good. So you're stretching the hamstrings now. And then take your time, couple breaths. When you're ready, bend that left knee over your left ankle and lift the upper body up. Now you can always adjust the back foot back a little further or come up a little bit further, but keep that left knee bent because we're going to go into a warrior pose. You're going to look straight ahead and bring one arm off the chair right in front of you. Maybe that arm can go all the way up. If you feel really balanced, that left arm or the other arm can come forward or go all the way up. Or keep both hands on the chair, that's okay too. Maybe lift the chin a little bit. Inhale. Exhale, bring both hands back to the chair if they were there. And then slide the right foot up to meet the left. So let's try it again on the other side. The left foot goes back. Good. And we're going to keep the legs straight right now and just lower the head down. So if you feel it behind the right leg, it's already working. If you need to feel it a little more, then maybe lift the right toes up. Maybe pull that left hip back. Maybe lower your chest down. So any of those are fine. Do what's right for you all the time. If your toes are up in the air, bring them back down onto the floor. Bend that right knee over the right ankle and lift your body up. But you can stay right here with the hands on the chair because you're already working. You're working the quadriceps on the right side. That's the knee that's bent. And then the left hamstrings are stretching. So you can stay right here. You can try to balance a little bit by taking one arm forward or up. Maybe both arms forward or up. Maybe the chin can lift up a little bit into warrior. And then bring the hands all the way back down to the chair and slide or step the left foot up to meet the right. And then we're going to do a chair pose. And this is another good one for the quadriceps. So in chair pose, there's a little separation in the feet. And we're not going to just bend and come down. We're going to lean forward, push the bottom back, and then imagine you're sitting down on a chair behind you. Come down to your lowest point, hold on to the chair, or maybe take your hands off the chair and bring them forward. So when your arms are forward, it puts a little more weight on those quadriceps, so it's a little more challenging. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, then keep your body steady, but bring your arms up. Oh, and you're going to feel those quadriceps working. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. Exhale, bring your arms down. And then once the arms come down, we're going to lean forward, push the bottom back, and come down. Okay, just like you're sitting in a chair. Now stay right here, and then bring the arms out and forward. And then up, and come all the way back up. Bring the arms out, and then bring them all the way down. Good job. Let's just come into a little side stretch here. So we're going to widen the feet a little bit. The toes are forward. Hands come to the hips. Inhale the right arm up. And try to keep that right arm parallel to the right ear. And if it doesn't want to go back that far, then it comes forward, then bend the elbow a little bit. And just go to the left. Just lean to the left. Big stretch. Good. Inhale and exhale. If you need more of a stretch, you can always slide that left hand down the left leg. Bigger stretch, so be mindful of that. Inhale, reaching the right arm straight back up. Bring the hand back to the hip. Relax your shoulder. Left arm all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, come to the right, just leaning to the right. For more of a stretch, if you need it, you don't, you might not need it, but if you do, you can slide that right hand down the right leg. And then slowly come back up. Inhale. And exhale, take the left arm out and down. And then bring your hands to the chair, and you can heel toe or step your feet right back together. We're going to work on posture a little bit, so I'm going to move my chair, but you can hold on if you need it. It's okay. Otherwise, bring your hands and arms down. But then you want to stand in your best posture, but soften your knees. Inhale. 
And as you exhale, draw your belly back toward your spine. Inhale the right shoulder up, back, and then relax the arm. Notice the right side of your chest, a little more room. Inhale the left shoulder up, back, and then relax it down. Lift the crown of your head up, tuck the chin in just a little bit, nice and tall. Good job. Inhale and exhale. Now let's turn the palms out. Inhale and reach all the way up. Keep the elbows bent, bring the hands together. Exhale, slide the hands down to your heart center. Take a little bow. Inhale, come straight back up to center. And then let's have a seat and we'll finish up in our chairs. So once you're in your chair, just let your shoulders relax. Let your body just sink down. Relax your back and your neck. We're going to give ourselves a little hug, and this is going to stretch the shoulders and the back a little bit. So bring your arms out. Maybe bring your back away from the back of the chair just a little bit. Inhale the arms back. Exhale, wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a great big hug. So the hands are at your back, your shoulders, your arms. It doesn't matter, but keep your shoulders relaxed. So we're going to lift the elbows. But you can stay right here, or you can go a little bit deeper as locking your elbows together. Bring your forearms toward each other, and then wrap your arms around or your hands around. So this is a half eagle, but you can stay and hug if you'd like. Also a modified half eagle, so do what you'd like. Either of these, all of these ways are going to stretch the back. Inhale, lift your elbows up, not your shoulders, just your elbows. Exhale, lower your elbows down. And then once they're down, shoulders are relaxed, bow forward gently, little bow. Come back up to center when you're ready. Don't lift the shoulders. And then unwind your arms and reach them out again. Inhale, the arms back. Exhale, another big hug with the opposite arm on top. Relax your shoulders. So again, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can go into half eagle. You can do modified half eagle. Or just keep this hug. Relax your shoulders better. Inhale. Lift your elbows up. Exhale. Lower your elbows down. And then gently bow forward. Inhale. Coming all the way back up to center. Exhale, bring your arms out, turn your palms down, and then just relax your hands and arms. So I'm coming back to the center now. Just relax, close your eyes. Just observe your breath, flowing in and out. Just observe. Don't try to change the way you breathe. Notice how quiet and still the body becomes. And just relax your toes. Relax your knees in your belly and your foot. Let your arms feel soft, shoulders relaxed, chest relaxed. Take your tongue away from the roof of your mouth and relax your jaw and all those little muscles in your face. Drop your hands and arms down to your side, then turn your palms out. And as you inhale, slowly, softly begin to raise your arms up. Bend your elbows, bring your hands together over your head or in front of your face. Exhale, slide your hands down to your heart. Thank you for doing chair-supported yoga with me. Namaste.